Uh, the peanut shop was, uh, I could see it was very important. It was very, very busy. You could smell the peanuts roasting down the street and uh, people were always running in and buying the peanuts in the shell unsalted. That's what seemed what the store was known for. It just, everybody seems so happy. You are watching SGTV, socially good television. The peanut shop started like in the 1930s. It was owned by Planners Peanuts. They opened hundreds of their stores all over the country. When they opened it up, they were in that retail business, but then they got out of it like in the 50s. My dad and then the, and Joe before him and the people before him worked very hard to keep this store going on Main Street. And he when he bought it in 1980, he bought it from a gentleman who also had operated like 25 years before him, and that was Joe Lampazone. And, um, and Joe uh, apparently bought it from someone else before that. But, um, so it has been through several different hands over the years. We um, still use the original roasters from the 30s. Uh, we do everything the same. We use the same scales. Uh, that they always used, the counters, everything's the same. We have probably a hundred different kinds of candies that we uh, showcase. We, um, it seems that nowadays everybody loves candy, so our candy has really expanded from 15 years ago when we moved over here, this side of the street. And then the, the peanuts, we run a lot of different kinds of peanuts, every peanut you can think of, and we do them raw, we, uh, we buy them raw, and then we cook them up front in the peanut oil, or you can get salt or no salt, and you can also buy as little as an eighth of a pound. And that's why a lot of the families like coming in here and bringing their kids, because they can give them a dollar or two dollars, and they can learn how much a dollar will buy for them. I would say there's probably at least 25 different kinds of peanuts here. We carry them all of them all year round, yes, yeah. And, um, and a lot of the, the nuts that are hard to find, like the Brazil nuts and the uh, filberts, um, we always have those, and the macadamians too. But um, the other ones, like the um, blanched peanuts and Spanish and the extra large redskins, people love that. And then we also make those into homemade peanut butter, which a lot of people like the homemade peanut butter. And we still use that machine from probably, it, th I would say 1940s or 50s. It means a lot coming into the store because I know that it means a lot to uh, the people that have always came here when they were children with their parents or their grandparents. And now these people are bringing in their kids or their grandkids. And it just it's a real family store and it's like the left last left of the original downtown. I'm thankful that uh, that I'm, I can work here and I can work with the public and the people and um, um, I don't think in the 80s I ever realized that this many years later that this store would really be an important store not only for me but for all the people here in Akron who really love the peanut shop. Thank you for watching SGTV, socially good television. Visit sociallygoodtv.com and remember to share this video.